Whoa! Guess what day it is, huh? Guess what day it is, huh? Any anybody? Huh? Hey, hey, Godzilla! G guess what day it is, huh? Hey, you know I, I I know you can hear me. Hey, King 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 Caesar, huh? What day is it, King Caesar? Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Hey, Rodin, guess what day it is? Uh, it's the it's the Godzilla Final Wars review bonus. Whoa, whoa, bonus reviews are cool. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Even though today's one day, yeah. Yes, guys. All right, so let's get the start. But first, let's turn up the music, shall we? That better be loud enough. All right. And hopefully you guys can hear my voice. If you can't, then next video I'll try to hey, talk a bit louder or I'll turn down the music. All right, but yes, I'm going to be doing a bonus for every video I do. So this is it. We're going to be doing a final talk about the my my Godzilla Final Wars collection. So this was my final Final Wars. There's review about my Final Wars. Characters, I might get, and you never know, I might buy a few more. I might get that guy again over there in the background near King Caesar. But, yes. This is about it, guys. He's, um, a lot of these guys are indeed Bandai, and oh my gosh, because you guys know who I'm putting on. Ah, how are we going to fit him? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, can he fit? All right, I th yeah, he fits. Okay, good. Um, oh, no. Last but not least. You guys see him? Okay, good, you guys can't see him. And that should be, is that, okay, good. Hopefully that is all my Final Wars figure I've been reviewing. I'm pretty sure. Um. All right, so let's get started on my final thoughts. I'm gonna get started first about Rodan, because I got quite a few things to say about him that I didn't get much for the review. Um this figure, if you're a huge Rodan figure, get this figure right now! Get it, get it! Okay? Get it. You gotta get this guy. I know that like this is just my final thoughts my final thoughts on these figures. So forget about what I said in those other video in those other reviews. You gotta listen right now for what I'm saying. Now, for the one I have right now, mine was used, so his paint job is not that spectacular. But I must say, for a very horrible movement, paint job really does amazing things to this guy. Like, seriously, this is like a great Rodan figure. It has to be in the top three best Rodan figures. It is a must-have. I, you're gonna love him. He, the paint job really works for him that's what really helps so take him out um king caesar now i'm gonna do this a joke that i do i'm gonna be doing with a lot of my fingers Fig figures what does this remind you of wow i went to a darker side okay um i need to get my final thoughts on king caesar his detail i tell you guys the plates like these little scale things he has are completely sculpted they are because there's some that kind of split apart they're just then it's get it's all smooth up here then it's just everything is so amazing about this guy from every angle he's so cool looking there's not a single thing they did not fail on this guy he is actually one of my favorite Godzilla figures he does stand in a really important spot in my heart because I love the Godzilla figures are very rare. I just love, like, I love Baragon. I love, um, Megalon. I love Meg. I just love, I can't get enough of Megalon. Um, not much to say about these little guys. You can get them, but I actually do, there is a better Kumonga figure out there. And a be better, um, a better Kamakuras. But they cost, like, a hundred bucks, so you're gonna have, so good luck finding them. Um, I must say, this might be the best ever toy you're gonna get when it comes to Final Wars. He's not bad, just Lou is... 
glue his legs on there. He still does pretty good. Like, if you put him at this angle, this is how big he should be. But still really nice. Um, not the best figure for play value. He's more of a collectible. So, um, not much to say about Inguirus here. I think I really got it right on this guy because he's not the best. In fact, actually, wait, what am I doing? All right, Rodan, 10 out of 10, must have. King Zizar, 10 out of 10, must have. Ebra, buy it at your own risk. Little Kamakras and Little Kumunga. Well, if you have a bunch of little Godzilla figures and you want to have a little Kumunga and Kamakras, then yeah. So, you can buy it if you want it. So, uh, Godzilla, Final Wars. This is the only 6-inch Final Wars Godzilla. Wait, is, oh no, there is another one. And that one is not as movie accurate, but, and plus, but that one is bigger. It's way bigger, but not, like, this one counts on it when it comes to movement, detail, and, um, and paint. But the other one has better size, but not so, it has better size, but not so much of the detail. So, I might buy that figure and get a, more of a comparison on this. Um, Godzilla. I suppose he is a must-have if you're wanting to collect all the Godzilla figures. He's a, he's not a buy it at your own risk, but still. Um, now let's get on with Gigan. Got this Gigan figure. Um, I would actually say buy it at your own risk because he is so fragile. I don't know what it is with mine. Maybe you could, tell me in the comments if your guys, if your guy, if this guy, if this guy game that you guys have is not so much because it's not so um fragile. Because I tell you, I'm having problems with here. These are falling off. Like I don't even play with this figure very often. I really don't. And now I don't even play with him at all. Cause what are you gonna do with him? He's so. It's just uh, I'm really having trouble with this guy. Um. And then I guess we'll get on with. The Chainsaw Guy again, a must-have figure. You must get this guy. Even though he's so big, he won't fit up with your other guys. Well, who to, who cares? Because there is a 12-inch of this figure. Not that one over there, but still, must-have. Just like Monster X. All right, you know, I'm really hoping you guys can hear my voice because that music is blasting like crazy. And then, of course, the Godzilla... The um, Bandai Creation Godzilla Final Wars 12 inch figure. Um, he is a, I guess you could say, he is a must have. If you're a really big, good fan of Bandai, oh man, I have the hiccups. If you're a really good fan of Bandai, then, and you want to get something that's completely different than what you've gotten for a lot of Final Wars figures, this is the guy for you. And it was, plus, this guy is good for little kids. He's much. So parents, you're watching this right now. This guy is more suitable for kids. Way more suitable and I'm just showing you. You see, my hands, they show it the proof. Ha ya ya. And all right, so stay tuned guys. When will I ever continue doing music videos? Will I ever continue my Ninja Turtle t videos? Will Death Ghidorah ever get a toy review? Humpty. Ooh, and will and will Godzilla Daikaiju Battle Royale part part four part four ever come? Well, well, you guys are gonna have to find out because I need subscribers to subscribe. So go down there and subscribe, okay? Give in fact, give thumbs up. I don't care. In fact, I don't, you guys don't even have to subscribe. Just give me a thumbs up. Then I will do more of the videos. In fact. Now that I finished up my reviews on the Godzilla Final Wars figures, I might stop for a little bit until next month. No more um, re figure reviews unless I get some new on the way. And now I'm going to be, since I'm a great artist, I'm going to be showing you guys the next video I'm doing will be something that you guys might find pretty useful. Alright, so stay tuned, and guys. Um, I don't know, like, what, what should I say? Uh, hmm. Uh, okay, keep it real like, keep it real like Rodan. Okay, I'm gonna say that. Keep it real like Rodan.